arm because you're good at what you do. All right, so we back in the shop. I've cut my five by fives. Got seven pieces. They're still kind of hot. Let's see. This five by five half inch steel plate's gonna go here. Like so. I'm gonna make a fill weld. Look at that nice cut I made. Yeah. I'm just gonna go here. And we're gonna cut some three by threes out of this 3 16th steel plate. And we'll come over here. Put the caps on this here. We'll cap it off. See if we can take a look at the the drawings and see exactly what we got. This is what we're building. tube still we got and if it's important that you guys do learn about these weld signs so can anybody tell me in the comments what this is telling you to do with this flag here what is it telling you to do somebody write me the answer But yeah, this is what we got going on for today. Got some unit strut we're gonna cut. This is what the day consists of, just a bunch of cutting and prepping. Not even a bunch of it, but I mean, we got it here today at uh, six o'clock and it is about, it's almost 12.20. And this is what I've done so far. Just cut these out. I made that cut this morning. And I made that cut there. And now the scrap piece that I cut off the end of the other one. And, and that was pretty much it. Other than that, we've just been Cadillacing. certain techniques that you need to brush up on. But that looks pretty good. As you can see in this root pass here, you see a few inconsistencies. One at the top, on the side, at the bottom. That may look like something, but it's not. It's just a flat root. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Good tie in. See, there you go. And that's that's not a pinhole neither. You might not be able to tell from the angle I'm filming, but that's a good tie in. As long as it's flush, like that right there, as long as it's flush, as long as it's flushed, just like you see right there. On that tie-in, QC won't have a problem with that at all. It's only when it's sucked back. If it was like this, but it was sucked back, then the QC will be, um, I guess, kicking up dust about it. Let's see what this is here. Okay, that's another tie-in. Another tie in. So, this is actually a weld that I did earlier. So, now we're looking at it from another angle. As you can see, it's not a pinhole right there, it's just where I guess 
there's a little imperfection. But no, it turned out pretty good. Let's take the time. I actually did this test pretty quick. So, just take your time and get it right. That's all, that's all you can do. Tie-ins are not, they're not hard, especially when somebody show you. Sometimes when you're doing this stuff on your own, it can seem like it's difficult and then you might be running into issues until somebody show you your mistake and show you what you're doing wrong. A lot of time you're just gonna go through the growing pains until you actually figure out how it's done. And that's how most of us get it. Let's see if this welding machine works. Okay, okay. But now I'm just messing around in the shop today, just waiting on the electricians to get back down and figure out what else they want to do before I move forward. But yeah, just showing you exactly how it is on this particular project. Just relax and lay back, no stress. So I'm out here in this designated area where where most of the cutting go down at, or at least this is one of the spots. And this morning I'm cutting out five by fives. If you guys ain't never run a torch before, ox assembling torch, make sure you know how to do that. That's really important. You can be a good welder, but also you need to keep in mind you should be able to run an oxy acetylene torch. Not hard at all. Not hard at all. So, first thing first, oxygen is green. 40 PSI for the oxygen setting. Half inch thick plate or lower or half inch thick steel, whatever you cut. Okay, so this is the gas, this is the acetylene. It's the oxygen, and this is the acetylene. That's the torch. Oxy, acetylene, torch. <laughs> but no, back to the gas. So this is the gas. So I like to set mine on 10. Some people set their oxygen on 25, 26, and set the gas on nine. People do it different, but when you look at the book, the inside of the manual, and, and cutting certain thicknesses of a uh, plate, or whatever steel you're cutting, you want to set it. That's on 10 psi on your acetylene, and again 40 on your oxygen. And for this right here, this is half inch thick steel. We're going to use this tip right here. This is the tip I'm using actually. It's the, uh, let's see what we got. See that single zero? Let's see if we can zoom in on it. There you go. Single zero. That's the tip you want to use when it comes to cutting half inch thick steel or less. And you got, let's see if I can show you the difference in cut tips. So then if you look at this one here, this is a double O. And this might be a triple O. No, this is a double O also. So you're just going to go with one O, one zero. Or half inch thick or lower. Anything below, anything half inch or below, use that single O. And um, follow those settings. And you'll be good. Here's another tip. I mean, most of you guys should know this, but you got to keep in mind, you got people still in school who don't know nothing. Whenever you're getting ready to make your cut, before you, before you can blow through the steel, first off, if it's cold outside, you definitely want to kind of just preheat your metal, like this for an example. Just got your flame going, you just pre take the moisture out the, the metal. And it's no particular 
amount of time. It's just that you'll see when the, the moisture come out of the, uh, the plate. So when you get ready to make your cut, you want to keep the flame right here at the tip of it until you start to see that metal, it'll glow. It'll be a glowing red. And then you hit your trigger. Psst. Then you can start cutting. And me, the way I cut, I have it slightly turned to an angle instead of like this here. Slightly turned to an angle and just one consistent motion. It's gonna take a little practice to get it down packed, but this is what we got going on this morning. And I got about one, two, three more to cut. So we're gonna get out and get it done. Make it happen. Thank you.